So in this video I want to show you how to um, start to add other layers to images and also how to extend your canvas. So I've got my image here um, from a photo shoot a few years ago and I've basically, I want to add um, some extra canvas here so that I can have some more space to add other images. So this is how you do it. So you literally go into image and you go to canvas size. Then you click on the point of where you want to add the canvas size. So I want to add it here on this side here, on the right hand side. So I'm going to put 10 here, so 10 extra centimetres and then I will get the OK. So now you can see it's given me that extra canvas size and now I want to make sure that it's all blended. So I've got a continuation of this sort of the clouds in the sky in the background. So what I do is I select this area like so using the marquee tool here, okay, the rectangular one, and that's all selected. Then I go into edit, then I go into fill and it's the content aware, 100% colour adaptation, so everything is set correctly and then I OK. Give that a moment. And there we go. And then I just press go up here to deselect that area. And now we've got a nice extension of that canvas and it looks quite convincing. Um, and you've got quite a nice sort of format there as well, so a slightly more sort of landscapey image as well. Now I want to um, add these images here. So to simply add a picture, to copy a picture, um, or drag and move it into a picture, you go into the move tool like so, and then I drag this, and then I click on here, and I'm still holding the mouse down and I drag it down and then I release and then your image is there and you can see just over here on the right hand side I've got layer one okay now you can see it's quite large so it's not necessarily working with the composition so if you want to change the size of your image you can simply do this by going into edit transform scale and got oh, and then you just click on the corner like so. It's constrained. You can press the shift to keep it constrained, but as long as you um, pick one of these points in the corner, then it will, it won't um, get any distortion. Okay, and then I just drag and drop that to where I want it. Okay, so I might just I make her a little bit bigger. Like so. so you can just change the scale of your picture now where you see the box around the image you then press enter to confirm that you're happy with that selection and then there's one other image so this image here you can see it's the wrong way around so to rotate an image you simply go into image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise and again so that's the document I want to add this image to. So I click on that. I've got my move tool. I drag it into this. Let's do that again. Let's click that again. Make sure it's doing it. Drag and drag. There we are. Still holding it. And then when you've got the black arrow over your image, release. And there's the image. Okay. And you may decide actually I might I might move move them around a little bit. Again, I could change the scale of this image. So sorry, go to edit, transform, scale. Okay. Um, and if you want to see the whole of the, the box, a little shortcut here is uh, if you press Command minus, that means you zoom out. Command plus, you zoom in. Um, so that's on a Mac. If you've got a PC, then it's Shift minus Shift plus. So now I can see the full image again. You take the corner, 
that would be nice and constrained and then I can just place that like so you can then use the arrows if you just want to gently nudge your picture and now you can see you've got layer 2 and layer 1 and the background like so and then let's just zoom in a bit there we go now you can see you can clearly see there's this sort of uh, sharp edge um, from the layer one and layer two images so to help blend your image as a very quick um, way of doing this is just using the eraser tool okay and then you can go up here you can change the size of your brush you can change the opacity so you may want it maybe not a hundred percent maybe sort of 85% roughly um, and then you can literally just um, oh, make sure you're on the right layer I was on the wrong layer there so let's go on the right layer layer one now you can see the effects like so let's just blend it blending that in like so if you've gone over there you see I've uh, gone, gone a bit um, a bit crude there then you can press command Z and go back like so. remember you've got your history here which will always um, allow you to go back numerous steps as well. See there. so it's just about just taking your time if you want to make it look more convincing you can blend that in and then if I want to do the same for layer 2 I'm just and here you could get her hand coming in to the foreground. Like so. But you can sort of see that little white white edge with the overlap there. So it's again it's just about take, taking your time. But that's how you simply um, introduce different layers and change the canvas size to allow you to put more images in um, you can always move these these um, pictures as well however you might want them to be um, and then you can you can always um, take out more of these of the background as well so it's just a very simple way of layering different images together and with here you know, you've got this line that will be purely because we haven't got the, uh, the eraser tool at a hundred percent so if we just change that that should there you go now you've got it a hundred percent now you've got you haven't got that milky finish there so it's a bit more convincing so that's one very simple way of combining images together. So remember, a little recap to do the canvas. So you go into image, canvas size, and then decide what side of your picture you want to add the canvas, whether it's at the side, could be at the top, could be at the bottom. And then you put in your measurements like so, and then you okay that, and then you go then you make that selection and then go into edit fill okay um, and again a lot of the transformation is all under edit you can do all kinds of weird and wonderful things I'm just doing the very bog standard scale you can rotate an image you can skew it you can distort it so you can do all kinds of lovely um, little tricks in Photoshop so really it's just about just experimenting having a little play um, and then think about just um, you know how you want the different images to connect and extend the canvas so you've got more opportunities to add more pictures okay so that's what I want you to do today just have a little play um, and try the eraser tool as well and always remember whichever layer is highlighted gray that's the layer you are working on okay um, and if you um, click on the eye you will no longer see that layer at all 
any time and then you can just click on them and then you can see those layers and if you're happy with that but you might want to then adjust those layers again you go to file save as save on your computer and then you can keep the layers like so okay um, and then you can save that and make sure you're keeping an eye on where you're saving your work I'm going to save that on the desktop and then that's saved like so okay so um, good luck and uh, yeah I look forward to seeing your images thank you